hey guys welcome back to my chanel so i decided to film this story time on my bed because i'm about to go to bed but i was just like hold on hold on i want to start doing bedtime stories like i want to start telling stories when it's like time for y'all to like kind of go to bed and y'all watch it before y'all go to bed so i decided to sit in my bed before y'all go to bed so i can tell the bedtime story before y'all go to bed hi guys are you as you guys sit and look at my room please understand that the background of my bed does consist of a lot of pillows and as i'm editing it right now the led light is irritating me and i'm sorry if it irritates you i will definitely get better with the setups of these videos if this is what you guys like i just was trying to experiment and you know just trying to try something new i don't always like sitting in a chair Sometimes I want to sit in my bed. I do wish I was at home. Please understand that this is my college dorm. I can't really do much of what I want to do with the decorations and stuff like that because, you know, I don't really have a headboard. <laughs> but if you guys like these type of setups, let me know. And then probably when I go home on the weekends and stuff like that, I'll probably do it in my room because my I have a head, I have a nice room in my room at home. So just let me know if you like it. Just all in all, just let me know if you like this type of setup. <coughs> If you don't know what it is, I don't know what to tell you. So I got my pillow. <laughs> I have my pillow with me and we about to tell a story time. As you can see from that title, this is the story time about the time that I came to her as a motherfucking woman and I didn't have no motherfucking regrets. This story time kind of coincides with my... Which story time is it? The story... If you guys have not watched the story time of when i went to when i got arrested i'm gonna leave it in the description box watch that first and then you'll kind of get an insight to who i'm talking about you guys do not know the story time of when see y'all i'm not gonna sit here and watch this whole story time because i can't even tell you what I, I i think i named him stanley but i do not remember what i named the other girl i don't know so hey sit down hey i think i'm gonna have it like this y'all I want y'all to feel like we get ready for bed and I'm trying to tell y'all story time before we go to bed. <laughs> so boom. So Stanley was this guy that me and this girl kept fighting over. And it got to the point where it was so toxic. Like I told you guys in the other story time, I would see her at parties and we literally would get into arguments. I wanted to fight her one time. She didn't want to fight me. Like it was just too much. It was too toxic. It was too ghetto. It was just too much. So we are about to tell one little mini story time. We're going to get into how I came to her as a woman. So there was again where Stanley was lying to me and Stanley was telling me that he was not messing with her. And of course he was lying to her and he was telling her that he was not messing with me. And both of our dumb asses were believing it. It was one time that me and Stanley were messing with each other. And tell me why this girl called him while we were foreplaying his phone just kept ringing and when the first time his phone rang because we were too into it we didn't like i didn't pay attention it's like his phone was ringing again so i looked and i was like who's that calling you and he's like oh i don't know i said no 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 because something in my spirit was just like why does this phone keep ringing like who's calling you and the fact that he didn't even want to check to see because he had his phone flipped down the fact that he didn't even want to check to see who was calling him was just so weird. I'm like, who's really calling you? Because, like, who's calling you type shit? And obviously, if that person is calling you, it's an emergency. So he picks up the phone. He literally does this. He thinks he's slick with his big ass head. And if he's watching it, yes, I'm talking to you, nigga. He goes like this. And he's like, oh, nobody, we can continue what we're doing. No, we can't. Because I need to figure out who's calling you. So I said, who is it? He's like, it's nobody. The phone is ringing again. I'm like, no, 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 no. Who is this calling your phone, Stanley? So he finally is like, Ugh. so he flips the camera. I mean, he flips the phone. And it's that. Y'all see, I was about to call her a bitch. It's that little girl. So, and I think we're, we're going to call her Mona. I don't know, Mona. She looked like a fucking Mona. Me. Mona's calling her and literally he has her name Mona with a whole bunch of hearts 
So I'm like, and mind you, he told me that him and Mona broke up. So I said, if you and Mona broke up, why is Mona calling you? He's like, he, uh, 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 what you call it? You know, I like music and she probably calling me to, uh, so I could put her on some music because I be putting her on music. Look here, Stanley. You are not Kanye West. You are not Jay-Z. You are not fucking Uzi Burt. You are not Offset. You are nobody. Why the fuck is Mona calling you to put you, for you, to put her on music? Who are you? Why does she need to call your phone to be put on music? So I said, okay, call her back. Let's see. Uh, nah, why you want to call? You know how niggas start gaslighting you. Why you want to call her when we doing what we supposed to be doing? Why you being messy? Oh, I'm being messy. Me. Okay. That's cool. So I told him straight up. I'm like, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Like, it's that simple. I'm leaving. So he's like, what you mean you leaving? What does it mean? What do I mean I'm leaving? I'm leaving. The fuck? What does it mean when someone say they're leaving? They're leaving. Are you dumb? So I said, I'm leaving. He's like, come on, man. Like, come on. Like, you can tell he started getting irate and upset. He's like, you finna leave for what? I already told you that we broke up. Da da da. Okay. And y'all probably did break up, but y'all are still messing around because she feels comfortable calling your phone several times. Meaning y'all are still interacting with each other. So I don't care that y'all broke up because obviously y'all not acting like y'all broke up. Y'all are still acting like a couple because how can somebody call your phone? You don't answer and they start blowing up your phone. Obviously y'all haven't broke up. You're lying. I told him straight up. I'm like, no, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Call her back. I said, it looks like it's an emergency. So call her back and I'm gonna leave. Bye. So I dipped out because it just irritated me and it just honestly messed up my mood. I didn't even want to do nothing no more. It just, it ruined my mood to say the least. So at this point, I'm calling my friend now and I'm telling my friend, this boy has me messed up. Like literally this girl Mona was blowing up his phone like da da da. Like I'm just saying everything. So my friend's like, girl, leave him alone. Like, I don't know why you keep messing with him. Like, just leave him alone. Like, da, da, da. Like, she's just saying everything. She's just like, leave him alone. Like, I don't know why you keep messing with him. I'm just like, I don't know why I keep messing with him either. Because every time I turn around, this big head ass boy always doing something. Like, he is literally always doing some shit. But it's like I said, y'all. It's like he had a hold on me. And them soul ties are real. Because he was not doing shit. He's probably one of the worst niggas that I have ever messed with in my life. I've had all them story times that I tell you about these niggas, y'all. They have done more for me than what Stanley did for me. And I messed with Stanley for years. These guys that I tell y'all little story times about, I only messed with them for like four months, two months, a month. And they do more, they do more and they're more nicer than this bitch that I messed with for six years. Like, it's so annoying. And, oh, disclaimer, because I've been seeing a lot of people commenting saying that they don't like the way I talk with my mouth. Um, you can leave. Like, I don't care. I don't, I don't understand why people take time out of their day to complain about something when they could just remove themselves from the situation. I don't get it. Like, people, I've li and I've been seeing those comments a lot lately. And I feel like a little girl again. Because when I was younger, people used to make fun of me for... Um, I have a mouth, I have a lisp, if you guys know, if you guys watch me, y'all know. And I also, when I talk, my mouth twists. I can't help it, it, I don't know. But, a lot of kids used to make fun of me, and I used to go come home crying, and my mom would tell me, you're unique, what don't you get about it, you're unique. And I used to be like, no, I'm not. Cause it's like, I wasn't told I was unique, I was told that I was a fucking weirdo for talking the way I talk. I still... I'm very insecure about it to this day. I mean, somebody commented the other day saying that, and, I, and I've been seeing it a lot, but it's it's became very excessive. Somebody commented the other day and said that I was pretty, but because I talk with my mouth, the way I talk with my mouth, it makes me look so ugly and they're unsubscribing. All those are, that's not needed, y'all. Like, Y'all need to understand that if y'all cannot say that to somebody's face, y'all shouldn't say it at all. Those type of comments are not needed. If my talking irritates you, just unsubscribe and leave. I don't care. Like, what did you want me to do by making that comment? Did you want me to sit on this bed and go... Is that what you wanted me to do? You think I give a 
a fuck that you're unsubscribing because of the way I talk? Huh? <laughs> Man, y'all got life fucked up. I, I, I really wish, like, and I know I'm getting off topic. I know some people about to be irritated, but look, this is my channel here, buddy. This is my channel. I really wish that one of the people that watch me on YouTube would try me in public. I really wish. I really, really wish. That's all I'm going to say. So, boom, back to the story. So, yeah. So, at this point, I'm like, this boy is getting out of hand. So, every time that I would get mad at him, I would literally block him everywhere. I would delete him. This boy will call me from a known caller, y'all. And when I say call me, it's like on a whole different level of calling. Like, I'm talking about he will literally call me on a known caller all day long. At this time, this is when Do Not Disturb was just first being made. So, I didn't really know much about D&D. So, literally, all, and you know, do not, you know, unknown caller, you don't really know who calling you, but I can tell it's him. Because I will answer the phone and I'll be like, hello, and he'll be like, when you gonna unblock me? I'm like, so I, I hang up. He's literally calls me over and over and over again, like on some madness type shit. I remember one time I was feeling so down and I was just so like sad about the fact that like he just kept toying around with me and this girl. And so my friend, she called me. She was like, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. I'm just sitting in my bed chill. She's like, let's go to the basketball game. And I told her, I'm like, no, I don't want to go to the basketball game. Like... I don't want to go type shit like I'm not in the mood because I was so sad about like just all the shit that um, Stanley was doing to me just it began to take a toll on me to say the least like I began I began to get very very depressed and like you got like I told you guys I already was getting bullied in school so it's like I was getting bullied still and I was dealing with him doing the bullshit that he was doing and because I was a hothead, sometimes I would confront him at school. So it would cause people to be in our business. Then people start putting who they feel was right and who they feel was wrong. Literally all you would hear in the hallways was, she's fucking stupid because blah, 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 blah. And that's why Stanley's playing her fucking dumb ass, blah, 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 blah. Or you'll hear he's dumb for even messing with her. She's not cute. And then I would have people taunting me like, telling me that I'm ugly um I would have people taunting me and telling me that Mona looks better than me and she and Mona was a very skinny 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 girl so I would have people will be telling Stanley why is he messing with me because I'm fat and it just was to the point where I just was so stressed and I was just so tired of going to school I just was tired so I told my friend I'm like look it's the weekend because at this time it was like Saturday I'm like it's the weekend why would I want to spend my day on the weekend at a school full of people that hate me at a basketball game? No. I'd rather sit at home and sit in my misery and sit in my sadness than go up to the misery and the sadness. So she's like, no, like you're overthinking it. Like it's not like that. Like the basketball games be lit. Mind you, at this time, I have not been to a basketball game. So she was like, the best. Well, no, I really haven't. So she's like, the basketball games are lit. Like, you tripping. Like, still come out. Like, you're going to have fun. Da, da, da. I'm like, okay. Let me let me just go. You know, something in my spirit was like, just go. Like, you're going to have fun. I get to the game. The game is fun. The concession stands are booming. Um, I was dead ass thinking like, okay, the basketball games are fun. Because like I said before, and mind you, I was at 12th grade, y'all, and still had never been to a basketball game up until that moment. I have been to all the football, not all the football games, but I've been to a lot of the football games, but just have not really been to a basketball game. So I'm literally like, okay, like this shit is live. Like I'm having fun. I'm with my friend. She's chilling. Like literally we're having fun. We're, the, where we were sitting at was kind of like the opposite team. So you guys know how the gym is set up with basketball games in your high school one side of the bleachers is for like the opposite school and the other side is for your school me and my friend accidentally ended up sitting on the school the other school side the doors that we walked into the gymnasium was on that side and we didn't feel like walking across we were just like we're just gonna sit on the other school side and literally all of our friends 
and everyone we knew was sitting on the opposite side so we were basically facing our school but it didn't matter because it was still our school so there were other people sitting on our side too so i'm just chilling i'm laughing with my friend we went to the concession stand we got some food we came back we sat down like everything is smooth everything looks fine and dandy or so I thought. My phone keeps ringing and I'm not paying it no mind because y'all for a first time, for the first time in a long time I'm having fun. So I can hear the phone ringing but I'm not paying it no mind because baby I'm having fun. I literally get a call and it literally I, I finally was like okay let me look. This host said unknown caller. Eh? Eh? Why is this nigga trying to ruin my fun? And I literally showed my friend and I'm like and she's like, what's wrong with this nigga? Like, we start talking about him. And I was like, I don't know what's wrong with him. And I told her, I was like, it's like, I, I said, I don't know what it is. But it's like, I, he can tell that I'm having fun or something. Because it's like, why is he calling me at a moment where I'm having the most fun? Where I'm chilling, where I'm not worried about him? Why is he trying to ruin my mood? Like, I instantly got upset. So, she was like, girl, do not answer it. I said, girl, I'm not answering his shit. Like, I'm not answering his shit. He stops calling. He calls me like three times. I don't answer he stops calling mind you this this gym is packed everybody is at this game this is one of them like pop y'all know them popular games in high school that everyone would go to so everyone's at this bitch so about a good 15 minutes later my friend tells me irene i'm about to go to the concession stand i want some more candy you want to come i don't feel like getting up to go so i was like nah i'm good i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna just wait for you like i'm chilling right she leaves out of nowhere my phone starts ringing so i roll my eyes again i'm like this nigga's calling me again so it's not a long caller it's like an actual houston number like a 832 such and such and such such and such and such and such number i'm taken aback like who's this like i'm confused i'm ass answers and you know they you know a lot of the times people say don't answer unknown calls but sometimes it's very beneficial to answer unknown calls because it's just some, sometimes it's beneficial so i for the most part if it doesn't say scam likely i will answer the call or i will wait for the call to ring and then if they leave me a voicemail then i like you know i'll i'll listen to the voicemail to see if i want to call back or not but in that moment something just i don't know i just was like intrigued to answer the call and yeah so i answered the call and literally i'm on the bleachers i'm gonna reenact this y'all hello all i hear is <sighs> So I was like, hello? He was like, hey. Y'all know who it was. Don't act shocked. Don't act surprised. Don't be like, girl, who was it? Who else was that doing hey like that? Stanley. And literally, I know Stanley's voice. So I was like, Stanley, whose number is this? Because Stanley would always call me unknown when I would block him. So I was like, Stanley, whose number is this? And why do you keep calling my phone? So he's like, look. He's like, look up. Because mind you, I'm talking down like this. He's like, look up. I looked up. He's like, look to your right. I looked to, your, I looked to my right. All I see across the gym is this. <laughs> All I see is this. <laughs> I was so sorry sad and he's literally like hey he was like hey 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 Irene I'm literally I didn't know you was coming to the game why you ain't tell me mind you I got my head I'm like You look good, girl. You shouldn't be over there uh, frowning. You look so pretty. I'm like. I said, Stanley, whose phone is this? This my friend's phone. Give your friend back his phone. But I want to talk to you. Give your friend back his phone. Hang up. Have you lost your mind? Why are you ruining my life? Why? And why am I letting you? What's wrong with this nigga? So at this point, y'all, I feel super duper 
insecure. I feel defeated. My depression kicks in again. It's like everything bad. So I left. I left. And my friend, she was low-key starting to irritate me because she had met up with some niggas. And because she had met up with those niggas, I, I don't want to sound like this, but I don't like girls who get carried away. Like, if we came to an event together, don't see niggas and start getting carried away. Like, you know at the end of the day, like, I mean, we didn't come together. We drove separate cars. But at the same time, you knew that I was at this event with you. If I'm calling your phone, pick up your phone. Like, what's wrong with you? I'm literally calling this hoe. I'm calling this hoe and I'm calling this hoe. She's not picking up her phone. So I just dipped out because she wasn't even at the concession stand. So I dipped out. He starts blowing up my phone and he's like blowing up my phone on the unknown caller. He's blowing up my phone on his friend's phone. So he, so I block his friend's number. He takes another one of his friend's phone and starts blowing up my phone on that one. And he used to do this all the time, y'all. This is what he did all the blessed time. It And I was so young. I was so dumb. And it was so hard for me to leave him alone. It was just so hard for me to leave him alone. He will literally call me on unknown caller sometimes 30 times in a day. He will call me. And it's like... He will beg, he will plead, he will do everything. And when I would give him a chance, he would revert back to his old ways very soon. And once in a while, I'll be fighting with his girlfriend on social media. And every single time that I fought with his girlfriend on social media, he never said anything. He never um, got in it. He never said, hey, y'all need to stop. He never said nothing. He acted as if we were not fighting over him. That's how stupid we look. We were fighting over a nigga that didn't even care to even interfere in the fight. Like, he did not care at all. I mean, he would message me on the side and be like, can you stop? But like, he would not say nothing on social media. Like, he would not tell me nothing. He would not tell her nothing. I was just, I was just, I don't know. I was dumb. Let's just call it what it is. I was a dumb ass. Fair enough, I ended up talking to him again. I'm not gonna even sit up here in front on y'all and be like, I ain't never talk to him again. I did. I did. <laughs> so I ended up talking to him again and we started talking and it was it was somewhat smooth. But then one day I came over to his house and he was just acting so weird. Like when I say so weird, like he was acting so fucking weird. So my friend called me and I used to be friends with this girl and he hated her. He hated her guts. He hated her guts. And so one day she FaceTimed me and I was in his house. So I tried to answer the FaceTime. Y'all, tell me why I tried to answer the FaceTime. And he's like, don't answer that. Don't answer that. I'm with you. Don't be answering calls when I'm with you. Da, da, da. So I said, um, Stanley, who pays this bill? Like, do you pay it? Because, you know, if you pay my bill, I'm going to listen to you. Nah, fuck that, bitch, I'm not. My mom pays my bill, and my mom cannot tell me what to do on this phone. So, no. So, I'm like, um, Stanley, do you pay my bills? He's like, no, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Like, he starts getting all irate and shit. So, bitch, I answer it, because, bitch, I like when a nigga tell me not to do something. That means do it. So, I answer that call. Y'all, tell me why Stanley takes his hand and snatches the fucking phone out of my hand to the point where the phone falls on the ground. And my friend's literally like, what's going on? What's going on? And he's like, I told you not to answer. I told you not to answer that shit. Like, I fucking told you not to answer it. I told you not to answer You playing too fucking much. Get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. For one, you better be fucking lucky that y'all have carpet. Because if this phone fell on the ground and y'all had tile and my screen just so happened to crack because you want to be fucking childish and be a control freak and tell me what I can and cannot do with my phone, you would have been paying and buying me a new phone or fixing my screen. You would have been doing something. You were very lucky. Like, you are very lucky that my phone did not crack. But then again, let me tell you something. You're not lucky because what I'm about to do, you about to get upset. So y'all, I had a big ass slushy drink full of like slushies and nerds and shit. So when he threw my phone on the ground and he started yelling and telling me, get the fuck out of this house, get the fuck out of my house, this, this and that. I literally said, gladly, bitch. I was like, gladly, bitch. And I was like, you don't tell me what the fuck to do. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Da, da, da. This is my phone. This is that. Like, you don't tell me what to do. And as I'm walking out, <laughs> 
he's walking behind me mind you stanley's very tall like he's tall he's like six three six four so he's walking behind me he can see over what i'm doing like he can see over me so as i'm walking out <laughs> I was so toxic y'all i tried to open up my my um my sonic cup and pour the slushy all over his carpet so it's like we're walking we're walking he opens the door from behind me because like i said he was very tall so he reached over from behind me and so i'm trying to hurry up pour the slushy and then run to my car <laughs> y'all it's like he knew what the fuck i was doing because as soon as i opened the slushy he jerked the slushy out of my hand and threw like like he still had the cup in his hand he threw the slushy out like to the lawn like to the grass and shit and then took the cup and chucked it in my face y'all and it didn't hurt he didn't like it it didn't hurt when he did it like he didn't do it hard but it was still disrespectful as fuck like that he did that like and it, it was disrespectful and it was so fast like it happened so quick and the thing was i didn't even know that he was looking at me i didn't even know that so it's like i was just like thinking oh he's not looking at me he's not paying me no mind but i guess because he knew how childish i was i guess he already knew what type of time i was on so at this point he chucks it in my face so i catch it so it's like it's kind of like he did this he was like it's like he jerked it out then he was like and he dropped it and he was like stop playing with me and he pushed me out of the house and he slammed the door so now i'm filming i am filming i am fucking filming y'all you threw my phone on the ground I tried to get you back and you didn't even let me do it like even if you saw it coming bitch you still could have let me do it like i just wanted to decorate your carpets i mean your carpets were so basic i could have gave y'all a new color like blue is so beautiful on the floor you never thought of that like bitch let me give you a new motherfucking color the fuck i'm going off on him on his door i'm like you stupid da -da -da. like i'm just going off i'm going off i'm like yelling i'm kicking the door everything he's acting as if he's not standing right near the door like i don't hear nothing i'm kicking the door everything so i end up leaving so I call my friend and my friend's like, bro, why are you still talking to this nigga? Like, this nigga's disrespectful. Like, why are you still talking to him? So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I really just don't know. This isn't that. I don't know. Now, in the other story time, I was telling you guys about the time that he got caught on the staircase. Stanley used to sleep with girls around the school all the time. Stanley always used to sleep with girls around the school and he will also try to get me to sleep with him at school and I will just be like why like why am I sleeping with you at school when we have when we do shit after school why can't we just do what we do after school he has some type of fetish with him sleeping with girls in school and I just wasn't with it because if you guys did not watch that story time about me and, and that how that other nigga got caught in the restroom I was just scared after that, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I was scared. I did not want to be sleeping with niggas at school and get it caught. I was scared. Him, he wasn't scared. So, it's like people enjoyed me being upset and sad. So, sometimes I would walk into class and people would tell me, Stanley slept with such and such on, on the D stairwell. And I'm just like, oh my god bro and people will be like snickering because they will see how irritated i would get that lets you know how evil people are you got to be careful when people tell you news not everyone's telling you news because they are concerned about your well-being or people some people are telling you news because they want you to be sad they want you to be miserable and that's what people at the school were doing people were all was always telling me about his whereabouts every time he was messing with a new girl people were telling me every time he was messing with mona again people were showing me tweets on twitter about her tweeting about him like it was always something i got to the point where i was tired of his antics i was tired of everything one day i was messing with stanley again and you guys will see from if y'all watch that story time stanley did something that i didn't like and so we got into a big argument and I left his house. So the next day at school, I'm like, I'm not talking to this nigga. Like, I'm not talking to this nigga because he just keeps doing shit to irritate me. So I see him in the hallways. I don't say nothing to him. He doesn't say anything to me. We just walk past each other. <sighs> By the time I see him at lunch, the principal 
is calling him to the office in a very stern manner on the microphone. So I'm thinking, what did this bullshit ass nigga do? Mind you, y'all, Stanley wasn't a bad student. So my only thought was he had sex on the staircase and got caught. That was literally my only thought because he just wasn't a bad student. So like I told you guys in the other story, I confronted him and I asked him, did you have sex on the staircase? And he said, no, I didn't. Because later on down that later on that day, people were um, there were rumors speculating that somebody had sex on the staircase and the teacher caught them. And even and the teacher that caught them just so happened to be my teacher. And she was so scarred to the point where when we got to the class period, she told us that she couldn't teach. She said in this manner. Because of the events that I have endured today, I will not be able to teach you guys. Please keep the noise down and we're just going to sit in this class until it's the next class period. Have a nice day. She literally sat on her computer and she was a white lady. So this bitch was bleeding red from her face and she just sat on her computer and didn't say shit to us for the rest of the school day. So I asked this bastard. Did you have sex on the staircase? Because he was the only person that I could think of. Mind you, at this point, nobody knew who fucked on the staircase. No one knew who did it, but we all knew somebody did it. I asked him, did you have sex on the staircase? He says, no. Okay. So I called my friend. Mind you, my friend did not go to our school. So I called her and I let her know what happened and I let her know that it's a coincidence that he got called to the office and nine times out of ten when the, when the principal calls you on the microphone to the office during lunch in a mad manner you did something that you had no business doing. So I told my friend the principal called him everyone's going around the school saying somebody was having sex on the staircase I think it's him he's saying that it's not him I don't know what to do. So my friend decides to at Mona on Twitter and say your boyfriend was fucking on the staircase today and it wasn't Irene looks like you have bigger fish to fry I did not tell her to do that because I didn't even have the full proof whether he was doing it or not so I did not want her to go and tell that girl that and we ended up being wrong but coincidentally when she did it mind you I was still at school the bell rung and now it's time for all of us to go home. And as I'm hearing people walk in the hallways, all I'm hearing people say is Stanley's name. And I'm not even hearing full sentences. All I'm hearing is Stanley Staircase, Stanley Staircase, Stanley Staircase. So you did fuck on that staircase. So now at this point, everybody and their mama is saying that Stanley is the one who has sex on the staircase. So now my friend starts going back and forth on Twitter with Mona because Mona added her and was like, girl, what the fuck are you talking about? So my friend started spilling the tea. Like she basically was telling her he got kicked out of lunch today. He got caught by a teacher having sex on the staircase with another girl. This, this, and that. And so the girl starts telling my friend that she's a liar. She's like, you're a fucking liar. You and Irene are fucking jealous of me. This, this, and that. First of all, why the fuck would my friend be jealous of you? Like, if you think I'm jealous of you, <laughs> you're sick in your head and you're demonic to think that I would ever be jealous of you. But if you think I'm jealous of you, okay, that's fine. But what makes you think that my friend is jealous of you? What does my friend, what do you have that my friend could possibly want? Like, you sound dumb as hell. So she starts saying, you and Irene are jealous of me and Stanley's relationship and you don't want us to prosper. Mind you guys, this girl did not go to our school. She wasn't even in our district. She was in a whole different district. So she's like, y'all don't want me to prosper. Bitch, you do not go to this school. If you went to this, it's a reason why Stanley has a girlfriend in a different district. Because if you attended this school, you will break up with Stanley. Because Stanley's embarrassing as fuck. Bitches will be coming to you as a woman every blessed day. Every day. Bitches will be coming to you as a woman. Oh, and this is another thing. Stanley ended up getting this girl's nudes exposed. That's another thing. He ended up getting her nudes exposed and she was still with him. And then she want to take up for him talking about he did it on accident. He did it on accident. How the hell did he do it on accident? He should have not been sending your nudes to nobody. But yeah, this girl, me and this girl were very delusional over this nigga. So basically, um, point, 
I'm like trying to tell her like sis this situation has nothing to do with me and you like this is a dirty ass nigga me and you been fighting back and forth between this nigga meanwhile he has other hoes you know the funny thing like me and you been fighting back and forth between this nigga like it was just me and you meanwhile it's been me and you and the rest of the whole school i call i dm her and i said please call my number because at this point i wanted to expose him i wanted to tell her everything that his ass been doing for the past two years and so she calls my phone surprisingly and we start talking on the phone and she's like hello so I'm like, yeah, she's like, what's up? And I told her, I was like, he got caught on the staircase today. And I was telling her, I said, it's not a lie because my teacher didn't even want to teach today. She's the one that caught him on the staircase with the other girl. My teacher didn't even want to teach because my teacher said that she's too traumatized to even teach us today. It was him. He's the one who got caught on that staircase. So she's like, are you dead ass? I was like, yes. And so she's like, okay, could you tell me more? I said, me and him, we just did stuff the night before that's another thing y'all me and him did shit the night before so how horny can you be to come to school the next morning and do shit the next morning because he got caught like in second or third period i left your house around 11 p.m last night you came back to school horny at 12 p.m not even 12 at fucking 10 10 a.m 10 a.m 9 a.m you're different bro you're fucking different like you're you're a different breed i was telling her that and so she said wow he messed with you too the night before and i said yep she said hold on irene hold on i said oh, okay i knew she was gonna call him i said yeah call that nigga up call that nigga the fuck up so all i hear is ah she lying she fucking lying da -da -da. i said i'm fucking lying he's like you're a fucking liar this isn't that da -da -da. i don't be messing with you when i'm with her i said wasn't you just wasn't i at your house last night he's like yeah but that don't count because i said mona are y'all with each other right now she said mm -hmm. i said okay then what do you mean it don't count what are you talking about so at this point me and him start going back and forth we're yelling we're screaming and it gets to the point where she's like both of y'all stop so we both stop and she's like stanley let irene talk she's like if you keep cutting her off i'm gonna hang up and i'm gonna just talk. it's like he was trying to over talk me so i couldn't tell the t because every time she said irene proceed he would be like no 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 like he would try to over talk me so i couldn't tell the t so she told him straight up, I will hang up this phone and I will get her to tell me the tea without you being on this phone. So it's either you let her stay on the phone and let her say what she has to say or you can get off this call. So he keeps quiet. So I end up telling her everything. I told her it all. And if you guys watch the story times, y'all know everything he did. I told her it all. I told her that when um that when um, when she messaged me, remember the day that he decided to mess with both of us on her birthday? that he told me that they were not together um he also told me not to answer your messages because you're troublesome i said um he basically told me that y'all have deleted pictures of each other on social media because y'all are not together no more come to find out this girl told me that he told her to delete pictures because i was crazy and it would give off the illusion that they're not together so i could stop harassing them Somebody who unknown calls my phone 30 fucking times a day when I don't want to mess with him no more is telling this girl that I'm harassing him and I'm harassing them and I'm crazy and I'm this and I'm that. And I told her straight up, he has a lot of sex tapes because there were times that I used to come to school and people would literally tell me, look at Stanley and this would be people's phone. And Stanley would be on camera having sex with a girl that I ain't never seen in my life. And I would confront him about it and he'll be like, you tripping, that wasn't me in the video. Nigga, I know you with your fucking big butt. I fucking know your... <sighs> Why do you keep lying? It's fucking you. So at this point now, he starts talking over me again. He's like, yeah, you want to tell her all that stuff, but you are not telling her how you've been crying for me. All the times that I wanted to leave you, you did not want to leave me. You sat on that phone and said, Stanley, please, Stanley, please don't leave me. Y'all, he was mocking me. I said, hey. 
The nigga that I be singing, come here, bring that dick here, is mocking me. Hi. And so literally all you hear is this on the phone. And she's just sitting in silence. And I was like, yeah, another thing you do is, and yeah, and all you be trying to do is, Stanley, please, Stanley, please don't leave me with your dumb ass. Cry baby ass with your dumb ass. Yeah, da da da. That's why I be leaving your dumb ass. Da da da. And I was like, yeah, and Stanley be unknown calling me 30 times. I have the screenshots. I was sending her the screenshots, sending her ass everything. He literally was talking over me. I was talking on a, over him. It's like, it was, it was bad. Like, it was actually very bad. And... It got to the point where my friend, she was on the phone, but she was on mute. Don't nobody come in my comments saying, that's invasion of privacy. Y'all know y'all done that shit before where y'all got y'all friend on the phone on mute to hear the drama. So my friend is typing to me and she tells me, girl, hang up. Because at this point, you've already told Mona everything you need to tell her. If she still can't get that he is playing both sides then there's nothing for you to tell her at this point just hang up right when she tells me that i'm about to hang up she i guess she ends up hanging us up she texted me on on twitter and she said i'm sorry i'm just not gonna sit there and listen to two people yell and not be able to talk like adults she said i don't want to hear nothing of what y'all have to say no more she said i do believe you um she said you can have him good luck Last time I checked, Miss Thing, you're the one with the title, boo. You can have him, not me. Yeah, you're the one with the title. You're the one that bought the fucking car. Bitch, I just motherfucking took the car on a joy ride. I'm bringing the car back to the dealership. You can have him, not me. Your name's on the fucking car. Don't sit up here. I hate when girls do that. I hate when girls don't get their way and say, <laughs> you can have him. That's such a condescending type of tone. Girl, none of us can have him. Like, let both of us just leave him alone. Yeah, y'all, that's the story time about the time that I came to her as a woman, and he was angry at me. Um, if you guys uh, go watch the other story times down below as to where I, I said I slapped the side chick, you guys will hear the story time about how I ended up slapping his uh the girl that he had sex on the staircase with i ended up slapping her later on um because we all ended up he got he basically got kicked out of the school the girl that he had sex with got kicked out of the school and then a week later i got kicked out of the school for drugs y'all should definitely go check that video out and i ended up slapping the girl who he had sex with because she had me fucked up so go check that video out and you guys will know later on about what happened and shit like that but yeah that was the story time one of the few times that I came to her as a woman because I was just tired of Stanley manipulating us, lying to us for a good two years. He literally was telling us different things. Like, it's a lot more shit that she told me that it's like speaking to her just clarified everything. Like, all the thoughts that I had, all the confusion was cleared up that day. And literally, he was not having it. Like, he was not having it. He was not happy that we were speaking. He kept trying to talk over us. Even there was a time when she started talking to me, he started talking over her. Whenever I talked, but like he wasn't even talking over her like in a manner of like disrespecting her. But when I was talking, he was disrespecting the fuck out of me. Like, but when she was talking, he was, come on, baby, we don't have to listen to her. Like, please hang up on her. We do not have to listen to her. She doesn't want us to be together. She's crazy. I told you she's crazy. Like he just kept repeating that over and over again. But when I was talking, it was Stanley. Like literally every time, guys, y'all about to laugh, but like I'm not even trying to be funny. Every single time I got ready to talk, all he was doing was Stanley, please don't leave me. Stanley, Stanley, please don't leave me. <laughs> he was trying to humiliate me, y'all. Like he kept saying, Stanley, Stanley. Bitch, that's not how I cry. <laughs> I cry like this. Stelly, like, you tripping, my nigga. Bitch, I don't cry. Stelly! Stelly! <laughs> if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. As I said before, go ahead and check out the rest of those story times so you guys can get more of an insight on Stanley if you guys have not watched those story times. Love you guys so much. I hope you guys like this type of 
bedtime story time series if you guys like it let me know in the comment section i will do more of these sitting in the chair all the time kind of can kind of get boring so i really enjoy sitting in the bed and just talking to y'all i'm really about to go take a shower and then i'm about to go to bed love you guys so much see you guys in the next one bye